this discussion, a group of plastic surgery residents and fellows from around the country are here to discuss the article by Drolet et al. entitled, Duty Hours and Home Call, the Experience of Plastic Surgery Residents and Fellows. My name is Kyle Everlin, and I'm a hand surgery fellow at Massachusetts General Hospital. These regulations were first implemented in 2003 and have generally limited resident work hours to no more than 80 hours per week and 30 hours in a single shift. These restrictions have been met with significant objection within the surgical community. Regulations on home call were included in these guidelines. There are fewer stipulations associated with home call. The only hours that count toward the 80 hour work week limit are those spent within the hospital itself. Plastic surgery training programs have used home call to provide resident coverage overnight, but also to allow residents to gain valuable educational and operative experience in the following day. It allows programs to marry the need for regulatory compliance with the need to produce competent, experienced trainees at the end of residency. Frankly, we believe that it allows residents to train in an environment that mimics one's future practice and allows residents to control their own surgical education. The purpose of this article was to survey plastic surgery residents and fellows about the impact of home call on their training. Next, Dr. Jacob Unger will be discussing the study's methodology. Thanks, Kyle. I'm Jacob Unger, and I'm a PGY-5 integrated resident at UT Southwestern. A 30-question survey was utilized. The questions evaluated how staff knowledge and approval or disapproval of home call and duty hour regulations. Further, perceptions regarding the impact of home call on patient care, education, and quality of resident life were also assessed. The 92 existing plastic surgery training programs in the U.S. were identified through the ACGME. The survey was administered 16 months after the enactment of the common program requirements. Statistical significance was determined by non-overlapping 95% confidence intervals and confirmed via two proportion z-tests and chi-square tests. 41 out of 92 programs agreed to distribute the survey. While this is less than 50% of programs responding, the response rate from those who did receive the survey was 58.3%. I will now turn the discussion over to Dr. Anup Patel, who will delve into the results of this interesting study. Hi, my name is Anoop, and I'm a PGY-5 integrated plastic surgery resident at the Yale University Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery Program. As Jacob noted, this cross-sectional study generated a 58% respondent rate with 174 integrated and 40 independent plastic surgery residents participating. Almost 100% of residents reported taking home call, with 66% being on call every third or fourth night. While 75% of residents returned home during that call, this study did not mention the number of times that residents had to return back to the hospital that could potentially impact duty hours. Nevertheless, 25% of respondents reported that they were always compliant with ACGME duty hours, with the number one reason cited for non-compliance with the ACGME duty hours being related to operative clinical time. Overall, the vast majority of residents prefer home call and believe that their program could not function without it. While the shortcomings of this study relates to it being a cross-sectional study, it does provide important data suggestive that home call is a realistic reflection of being an attending plastic surgeon. Our program structures is uh, consistent with the findings of this study, namely it enables us to be functional as well as remain compliant with ACGME duty hours. As a resident preparing to become an attending, I believe home call is paramount in preparing us how to triage consults as well as determining the urgency of clinical care needing to be delivered. I will now turn it over to Dr. Mohamed Akko, who will discuss work hour restrictions and home call. Thanks, Anup. My name is Mohamed Akko. I am an independent PGY-8 Chief Plastic Surgery Resident at the University of Southern California. Since the introduction of the 2003 regulations, there has been an ongoing discussion on the benefits and drawbacks of resident work hour limits. The even stricter 2011 regulations only added fuel to the fire. The discussion has centered around three main issues, patient care, resident education, and well-being. While a simple-minded assumption will dictate that a well-rested, cheerful, knowledgeable resident would provide optimum patient care, the complexity of modern-day healthcare is not so accommodating. Less time spent in the hospital means less patient exposure, missed educational opportunities both in and out of the operating room, especially for the surgical residents. 
Add to the equation the more frequent sign-outs between the shifts, you can easily deduct that the patient care suffers too. The result of the work hour limits is just work hour limits. The workload remains the same and is just redistributed among the other team members, leading to work compression, as rightfully pointed out in an invited commentary to the reference article 35. Thus, the question is, how can we optimize the educational experience while keeping up with the ever-changing rules? Home call is such a tool that can help mitigate the untoward effects of this. The plastic surgery discipline is amenable to the useful application of this tool. The resident does not have to miss the opportunity to evaluate and treat a patient in the ER at night in order to be able to attend the unique case in the OR the next day. In addition, this is a real-life simulation of a plastic surgeon taking an ER call that offers an exercise in the self-triage of the calls. We should be cautious, though, not to allow use of this form of call, as even a hint of it might trigger inflexible, strict wording by the regulators depriving us from all the benefits of home call and the vagueness of the regulations. Dr. Asha Amalfi has the final word. Hi, thanks. So what does this mean for the future of plastic surgery training programs? Well, it's clear from this study that home call works well for most programs. And we as plastic surgery residents, we place tremendous value on the home call system. After all, the purpose of our training is to make us confident and competent plastic surgeons. And there's really no model that mimics that like the home call system. We also appreciate the autonomy of a self-governed system. We have all experienced firsthand the duty hour restrictions implemented by the ACGME. And in fact, it's not making our junior residents better. It's hindering their education and their experience. We as residents stand firm in our support of home call, and we are fundamentally opposed to any further restrictions on this model. We would like to commend the authors of this study on a well-executed study. And we'd also like to personally thank the PRS editors for this first chance to residents to do a video discussion. Thank you. Do you have comments on how home call has affected your program or the new ACGME duty restrictions have affected your residents? Visit us on the PRS blog, Resident Chronicles, and join in the discussion today. Thanks.